Welcome back, ninjas. Today we're going to be working on another orc celebrating Wogust. This time we're working on a Death Skulls orc. These are the boys in blue. Uh, you're going to need to watch our video on how to do orc flesh to see how we get to this step. But the first thing we're actually going to do, we're going to prepare this orc for painting the... Uh, the um, the woad or the battle paint on him. You're also going to be using the colors Black Templar, Talisar Blue, Skeletal Horde, and Blood Angels Red. In addition to this, you're going to want plain white, plain black, silver, and some gold. So once we've got the white down underneath where the battle paint's going to go, we give that just a second to dry. Um, and we're actually, say, so you can see here where I've, I've changed my mind a lot. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go through the, oh, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Now, we want the white to dry fully. So instead of doing the battle paint right away, we're actually going to do the black, which is the leather bits. We're going to do black leather boots. We're going to do black leather straps and a couple of other things. And then uh, and we'll come back and hit the next color. And now that that black is dry, we're ready to move on to the next step, and we're going to be adding silver. And this is a silver dry brush over the parts that are going to be metallic, and we'll do a more solid silver over the things that weren't painted black before, like the helmet.
And now we're ready to go in and do that battle paint and the woad. And we'll be putting that on over the flesh. Um, and I find you, you have to paint it over white because it's going to show the green too much. So we're just going to paint that half of the orc skin blue. We want it to be good and dark. Um, one of the things I like about Death Skulls in particular is they use a lot more woad and battle paint than a lot of the other uh, factions. Also, just make sure you hit a couple of other places to give a detail. We're going to end up putting a little bit on the gun here and a little bit on the helmet. And I just think the extra extra spots of blue will really help to solidify it as a death skull. But remember, each boy should be unique and be different. So you definitely want to do yours your own way. Alright, and so now we're going to be taking the Skeleton Horde and we're going to be going over all the rest of the cloth. You could do this with snakebite leather, you can do this with any other brown, you can do it, it doesn't have to be brown, you could do it with uh, uh, Basilicanum Grey or even Black Templar, any color you want really. Um, but I'm going with uh, Skeleton Horde because we use a lot of snakebite leather on a lot of the other clans. Uh, and I really wanted to do something to differentiate these. I'm not overall super happy with it, but it does give it a nice, a nice khaki kind of effect. And now, of course, we're going to finish up a little bit, uh, finishing out some detail work on the helmet. Uh, and we'll be going through and doing some, some touch-up work elsewhere, using gold to pick out the little uh, orc glyph that's on the front of the helmet and things like that.
All right, Team Ninjas, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to go ahead and finish things up over here while we just, that's just going to do some work on the base uh, like we normally do. But I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if there's something you'd like to see us do in the future. Um, hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying our best to, to produce three videos a week and... Uh, you know, so those subscription numbers really help that, uh, you know, it's really nice to come back and look and see that I've, I've gained more subscribers or uh, gotten more likes and more views. Uh, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can become a part of Team Ninja uh, and all the other stuff YouTubers say. And also, uh, don't forget to check out uh, SevenNinjasStudios.com, which is my website where I post pictures and, and store all of these videos as well. And also check us out on Patreon at Patreon.com slash Seven Ninjas. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this series, and I hope to be able to keep doing it for a long time. Take your minis from Gray to Gray.